Good morning to all traders and welcome to this Monday's Market Insights video provided to you by Orbex. Today is the 8th of February, another week um, for our books. And it's going to be, I think, a very interesting one because uh, I think we have just seen a reversal on the US dollar uh, last Friday. That, of course, happened on the downside uh, surprise on the NFE figures. Um, but... I think uh, because that was seen as uh, with an increased likelihood to 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 you know start adding impetus to Biden's stimulus drive, uh, equities on the other hand continued recording uh, all-time uh, highs, and um, it wasn't just encouraged by the um, the bad jobs numbers, but also uh, it was encouraged by uh, job growth indicators that were received last week. Um, that because of course they are pointing to further and faster growth, as well as um, what has been seen as the real drive, or I think is a real drive actually, is a positive progress around COVID and also the unexpectedly staggering uh, corporate earnings reports uh, that we have, we actually still receive, but we received last week as well. So uh, for today, I'm going to start. Um, with Nasdaq. Then I'm going to go with the S&P and then last we're going to have a quick look on the US index. Without further ado, I want to go with a four-hour chart because we haven't looked at the Nasdaq for a while. Do not forget as I see this as one, two, three, four and five. Yeah, and this sort of uh, move for me, it's uh, like a linear diagonal. Okay, so I still believe in the cycle degree where in wave one. Yeah, when I get wave two, it's going to be a very deep corruption, in my opinion. But regardless, let's look at this one, two, three, four, and we expect I expect the last leg on the upside to end. Okay, that is one, two, that is three, four, and that is five. Now, here's some clusters over here. One cluster is between the over here, the big number. Yeah, you see that. This is wave three to four on the primary degree. It takes us to 1229 uh, and 1286 is the sixth one, 161 of um, waves one and two over here, right? That has already broken and it acted as a support. That support now is pushing prices higher. The 200 Fibonacci extension of waves one and two bring us to around 1387. Now, if we take also wave three and four, yeah, what do we see is that, you know, the 100 Fibonacci extension is around the 1480. Are we going to get there? Well, in order for us to get there, we will need first to break the 200 Fibonacci of the primary three and four, which is around the 1440. Yeah, but... What else we can do, since we are in the minor degree, we can take wave three of the minor degree and check that 100 Fibonacci extension also comes to the 1488. That, of course, would mean that waves three and five are equal, okay? The thing is, because we've got wave one over here, yeah, and wave three is larger than wave one, it's very possible that wave five is going to be equal to wave one. Okay, now if that's the case, if of course the guideline of equality is respected, then we're going to head to around the 1426, missing even the 200 Fibonacci extension of the primary uh, move on the upside. Okay, on the S&P we don't, I mean we can look at the 4 hour, but at the end of the day we're going to head back lower. As you know, I've been I've been waiting for this um, to end as in, in in diagonal pattern for a while now, like maybe even two quarters back. Um, so there is no reason to see what's happened there. We are even uh, gonna go actually much closer to see what's happening over here in the short term. Uh, as you well know, last week I had this as an A and as this as a B, but uh, you know the way this is developing up, I think. I think we, we have better chances of that being in one, two, three, four, and five over here for an A. This is a B. Uh, this is a one and two. We're expecting three, four, and five. So I'm looking more for more upside here as well. And we are between the 42 and 4300s. Yeah. For that, of course, to happen. Yeah. 
it means that we need to remain above at least the 3827 because this is wave one. We'll get an expanded flood in wave two. Yeah, um, we are in the midst of wave three. We're going to get four and five. Now, if we look at the Fibonacci again, here we are uh, taking waves one and two to identify wave one. Wave three, sorry, and that comes to 3547. Now, wave two comes to 4328, and we're talking about an ended diagonal. So, we could even have a truncated wave five, right? Around the 4030. But if that's the case, it means that wave three, I mean, wave five is going to be very short. I mean, I doubt it's going to be the case. For that reason, you know, we drew also waves one and two, yeah, the 200 Fibonacci extension of 4668. Okay, and the 300 Fibonacci extension of 42.53. And why do I do 2 and 300? It's because, again, this looks like to me an ended diagonal over here. We are going to know only this is if this if wave C is an ended diagonal, uh, if wave 4 comes below uh, wave 1, right? Now, for the time being, we're in the midst of wave 3. And I'm looking for more upside to at least the 40.30. Okay, and on the US index... Oh, I've been waiting for this move for a while because you know I've been I, I am bearish. I told you I've been bearish for a while. I told you I've been looking at this move as a correction. It looks like to me that this could have ended. Okay. Are just above the 100 Bonash extension, 9150 or so. Yeah. And that now registers wave four for me, which means this is one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna finally end this down to well. I think around the 87 or so, okay? Um, of course, for that to happen, I want to see that trend line breaking, right? If we bounce over here, we could have another leg up, okay? And then, of course, this would turn like a W, X, and Y or something like a double zigzag. Uh, because to me, this looks like, uh, the, in wave C, this is like a, an open-ending diagonal in, in, in C uh, of 4. Okay, so but I'm looking, as I said, you know, more downside, also supported by the uh, RSI and MACD. So I will be looking at the 91 or so. And then, of course, despite the fact that we are, uh, you know, drawing it the wrong way here, these levels always remain very, very important. Okay, so I'll be looking at the 90, 29, then, then the 89, 87. Yeah, and then of course the break of the 89200, which is the previous law registered a uh, few weeks back. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll speak again tomorrow.